Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Hell's Gate. Uh, today I just want to do something really quick with this castle. This is my P1 castle, and showing how to upgrade it to get it to be from a, uh, a mini farm to a more of a warrior castle. And had a couple of improvements uh, that I've done, and if you notice that uh, you know the timing of these videos is starting to spread out because it's starting to take a little bit longer to uh, to complete some milestones. So this is, uh, I believe, I am now on week four since, it's, and it's been about two weeks since my last video. Uh, so some of the things I wanted to highlight uh, that I've been able to do is that uh, um, have been attacking the uh, the Griffin monsters, and uh, and. You know, I still have not been able to defeat one uh, uh, purely. Um, you know, let's see. Uh, and you find an actual challenge in the boss. So here we go. Here I am attacking a level twelve, and I'm pretty sure I did the solo. So I'm I'm able to get. I'm averaging killing about between fifty and sixty. According to here, I I killed sixty eight percent of the level twelve. So um, it would be really great that I can actually. Uh, defeat it entirely because um, then I can uh, make use of my rallies and using the three a day to get three monsters and still in, instead of killing half a monster and need another rally to get it. Um, another thing I wanted to show is that uh, my progress in the Dragon Towers. Um, uh, I'm, my, my highest floor level now is level 51. Um, uh, which is which is pretty good, but uh, I've been kind of struggling it there because, despite increasing my attack due to some equipment, um, you know I I'm not able to get past that, and uh, I'm no longer on the rankings. Um, uh, sometimes I'll appear in the weekly weekend weekends. I haven't quite uh, attacked this week, so I don't show up there yet. But um, but one of the weak links that I have that I've identified and. Uh, get back to my reports here is um, and I'll, I'll show this with the uh, oh, I need to go to the right event let me go back to something that shows my status reports I'm looking for a castle um, trying to figure out where the castle stuff shows up at oh stupid me but um, So here's an example, here's uh, castle level 46, which I successfully completed. Um, here's my stats, I got you know, attack uh, around 2, 250 for infantry, cavalry 300, and so forth. But if you look at my health, the health is really the biggest, weakest link here. My uh, cavalry health is near 100%, infantry near 100%, but then my archer 50, and my siege is um, you know at 60%, 58%. Um, in order for me to really progress, progress to get this past uh, 51 floors, I really need to focus on my health. So, so um, and really the way how to, um, well, there's really two easy ways how to do that. Um, one of them is, um, if you look at my Lord level, my Lord level is only 37 right now. And that's, uh, that's actually pretty low. I need to uh, um, get that up here because uh, that, that really... Um, Inhibits uh, my ability to gain the uh, health lord skills because right now I've uh, reached it to the cavalry and I'm focusing on my damage on my cavalry next. But then the next thing that I'd like to do, and I, I actually started some of it, is uh, my siege engine. But there's one more health category in here that's actually very important, and I need to upgrade enough to be able to reach it. But it's this one right here. This one is um, increase health points of all units, and uh, so not only is it just uh, focus on you know one unit at a time, uh, like these three here do for your cavalry, archer, and siege, but this one will do all four at the same time, including your infantry. So, so this is really a, a next big goal of, of this castle is to reach. Um, uh, Lord skills in order to be able to get that high because uh, without health um, you're going to be very limited in your battles um, and then kind of jumping around um, I have made some progress in the equipment as you can see here I have two arctic sets uh, or equipment I have one for my weapon and I have one for my hat and 
and they give me a combined uh, benefit of a little bit of extra defense. Um, eventually, if I get all six, I'll be able to get uh, a little bit higher attack. So, so that's uh, that's good. I still have some uh, other miscellaneous Archangel equipment here in order to get my attack up. But uh, but again, the the weak link is the um, is the health. And then in terms of heroes, where you can also get some health in your attacks. Um, you know, I've, I've got two great attacking heroes. I got Selma, and I have the Queen um, at level 37, and level 33, and so again, looking at uh, the properties of of my Selma, you know, I'm pretty sure I have uh, health. You know, got health for infantry, of course, got attack, <clears throat> and uh, here again for my uh, Hort, ca uh, cavalry, uh, very similar to my Lord skills. Uh, I just have health for for the that and eventually I'd like to get more health in the other units uh, in order to make them a little more balanced and stronger and if you notice then hero skills there is no uh, you know skills for health points for all troops um, so so that, that's two goals right there um, is, is increasing lord skills and hero skills to get more health um, another place where you can get a little bit more health it's very minor but I did manage to unlock myself to SVIP 10 and I can actually enter the uh, the merchandise market and uh, let me earn all points possible because I can actually start to redeem some things here and I'm going to redeem them all so I can get them what I can but by going into the merchandise mark um, here's some things that are right off the bat you know here's uh, in the store level 1 which I now have access to um, I'm going to hold off on the it, uh, archers, but um, here we go. Uh, siege engine, uh, more health. I'm going to obtain that. So now, right off the bat, I get an extra four percent. Here's my cavalry, another four percent, and infantry here, another four percent of health. So, and then um, I do have a, a few more points left. Um, I'll save that for later in my own time. But um, that's you know, really valuable there, and uh, and of course in the SVP mar you know, merchandise, this is something you should do every day. You definitely you should definitely get the gift boxes because that's like investing. You spend a hundred and you get a chance to get a hundred back or up to I think a thousand back. So you you kind of um, you invest a little and you get more out of it uh, guaranteed. Just how much more is kind of the variable. Um, some other things, um, I did manage to unlock my, uh, some T11s, uh, based on my civilization. So, let's see, I, um, here, I've, uh, unleashed my T11 crossbow. Um, what else have I unleashed? I've unleashed, oh, wrong category. I've unleashed my, uh, T11 cavalry. And then... What else have I unlocked? I don't think I've had a chance to unlock... Uh, oh, I did un unlock my uh, artillery, T11 artillery. There, that's uh, pretty strong. You can get really strong once you can enhance them in the prayer hall. And last unit here, um, I was able to unlock here. So I've got, I got... I actually have locked, unlocked all my T11 troops in the uh, Civilization Temple. But uh, the problem is, is that all my barracks and military buildings, um, they're only uh, level 30. So in order for me to train them, um, I have to unlock the military buildings to, to the price says right here, this unit will be unlocked when range reaches level 31, or P1. So, so that's another goal I have, is to upgrade those to... Uh, to P1, so I can have those all unlocked. So, and um, the last thing I wanted to show um, was that um, a couple episodes ago, I mentioned that I was not going to buy him, but somehow, with all the rewards going on, um, I did get him. I actually got um, Bartholdi, the, uh, the, the construction officer. And uh, upgrade him level, th level 25, and one of the things that come out from that is that with his attributes, if you see here, reduce food construction, reduce wood construction, reduce iron construction cost, basically he gives you a huge discount in um, building things. 
And then I just went for it. Um, I actually bought um, a, a creator equipment set. I, I saw it and it was like, well, for, for five bucks I can get, um, let's see if I get him to pull up here. You know, I can actually get a blue set of the creator set here. And so what does it do? It gives me an additional uh, 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 reduction in cost in iron and mithril. And, uh, you know, and then the individual attributes of these is that, um, you know, they reduce the time of construction. Uh, very similar to the time elder that I had earlier. So I don't have, so I still have the time elder here, but I can't assign him yet to my wall because I need to increase my popularity, I believe. So, yeah, I need to be up to friendly. And at the moment, I am only at um, <clears throat> neutral plus five. So I am almost at friendly, um, real close, um, just another 100,000 points. And so I'm going through the progression. Here you can see um, you know, my dragon viking, uh, I'm already at uh, friendly. And now I'm in uh, Yamato, and I'm at neutral plus five. So as soon as I get to friendly... Um, I'll be switching to the next civilization because uh, I need those upgrades in order to maximize my ability to research the ancestral spirit because some of these things are unlocked in order for me to uh, go any further. Um, zeros are okay, but eventually uh, you, you need to be at neutral for some of these items So uh, and higher as you upgrade. But here's what I wanted to show in terms of building upgrades with the Hero Bartholdi. And um, I, I could just go to any one of these uh, right now. So here's my, you know, we'll start with this farm. He's at level 33. I'm going to start upgrading him. And, um, oh, I'm actually already upgraded a building, so I'm going to upgrade that out of the way. And this is actually the building event in uh, um, Kingdom versus Kingdom. So it's good to get this out of the way so I can actually show this and get some points out of it too. And I'm not going to use a buff because I don't have a lot of time here, but I'm just going to upgrade one building here. And here we're going to upgrade the farm, and wow, he only costs 3,000 um, wood for to go to the level 24. And here we go, instantly upgraded. Now I'm at uh, next level is level 25, and I only have to spend 4,000 wood. Keep going, now we only need 5,000 wood to go to the next level. And, and before this used to take... Uh, you know, nearly a day to upgrade and a couple hundred thousand uh, wood. So uh, we're just going to keep on going. And at the moment, I should be able to upgrade this up to um, P1 because my castle's at P1. And there we go. I have now built a level 30 farm, which is um, which is pretty good, cool. You know, and if I go to upgrade this, now I hardly need anything. You know, 760 wood in order to upgrade that. So you get the point there. Um, having Bartholdi is a dramatic uh, savings. And uh, just one last item I thought of while upgrading my wonder. Uh, uh, um, I don't have access to the wonder light yet, but um, but what I'm going to do is figure out, well, what do I need to upgrade? I need a Mithril Mind Prestige 1 and an Iron Mind Prestige 1. And now that I have Bartholdi, uh, those will be really easy to do. And then you can see here that uh, I hardly have to spend any Iron and Mithril to upgrade that. Uh, I remember the, that was a, a big um, drain uh, back in my earlier castles of having to spend, finding all that Mithril in order to upgrade the Wonder Tower. So... That's a real quick summary, um, you know, kind of showed some highlights, uh, you know, attacking um, um, the Griffin monsters, um, Dragon Tower progress, uh, getting Arctic equipment by attacking um, the Griffin monsters, I've got my creator, I'm in the progress of upgrading my T11s, I need to upgrade my Lord and Hero skills to get more health points, and as a side note with my marches, I did upgrade a bunch of T10 calves, and with my heroes, with uh, Selma and um, the Queen, uh, I, I at least got two marches out where I can uh, go and attack, uh, you know, monsters level 30s pretty quickly. So, so uh, that's kind of a brief overview. You know, it's a, it is a long trip in order to be able to upgrade castles, and, you know, this is going through some basics uh, for these that are you know, struggling and going over some basic in terms of you know, those that uh, have more advanced castles but are wondering, what am I missing? Hopefully I've uh, shed some light on that. So thank you for your time. Um, if you like this, please subscribe. Provide any comments if you get any feedback. 
And again, thank you for another episode of Hell's Gate. Thank you very much. All right, bye.